Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally back here at college and I just want to let you guys know where I was and what I was up to. So as I've told you guys, I am already a junior in college. Yep, this is my third year and I am very excited. I got here on the 14th and today of course is like the 29th. So yeah, I've been here for about two weeks. And so yeah, everything is going well and I have gotten settled in. Of course, as you can see, can't see anything, but around this area, I've gotten settled in. You've been pretty much seeing videos that I filmed at home, that I pre-filmed so that when I got here, I had something to show you guys. So now that I'm settled in, I'm pretty much able to start filming and get back to the things that I'm used to getting onto. So I just pretty much wanted to give you guys an update and to just kind of introduce you to my, what is this semester? My fall semester of my junior year of college. If you didn't know I was a junior, I am, yeah. So um, I kind of wanted to do something different because I'm tired of like doing a simple intro video to like my semester. And I wanted to show you guys my books and pretty much give you a book haul because I had to get tons of books this semester and to just try to give you some ideas of how you can find your books and stuff like that like I did because I had to go to various sources to get my books which was kind of odd and hectic but yeah I did so I guess I can start rambling and we can go ahead and get started so the one thing I did when I was looking for my books is I went down the website where you go and you can look at where you need the books for your classes. And then I went to a website called slugbooks.com. Probably looking in the description box down below so you guys can kind of spell it. Um, but it's called slugbooks.com and what I did was I just keyed in the ISBN for every book I needed and I put it in there and it gives you a list of all the places online that you can find it rather than your own bookstore. And you get like Amazon, you get Check, you get Ballora Books. Book Runner, um, other places online where you can buy books, and so you can compare the prices and get the cheapest book. And so that's pretty much what I do every single year when I'm looking for my books. I always get my ISBN and I plug it in there, and I see where, you know, where it is the cheapest. Also, there are other places where you can get your books from that are not listed there. One place for me is eBay, and another one that I think maybe is not listed is Book Runner. I'm not sure, it just depends on if you're using mobile or you're looking it up on your computer. But yeah, I think that's enough about that, and yeah. So the first class that I have is Introductory Sociology, can't say it, Introductory to Sociology, and the, that class I'll need this one book right here. Yeah, this is what the book looks like, and the class is pretty much a simple class. It's I really don't know about sociology, so I can tell you. I can really tell you about the class. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is the book that I need, and I guess this is why I'm in the class, right? Because I don't even know what sociology is. But um, yeah. And this book, I got it as a rental because you can rent books as well if you didn't know. But it, it's new, so it's a new rental. I'm the first one that's actually rented this book. And I don't know what the price of it was because I don't remember, but it was cheap, so yeah. And I rented this from Amazon. I'm not sure how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was under 30 bucks. So, yeah. Check out Amazon though. Professor for this class, she's a female. I only have one male professor this semester, which is kind of odd, but I don't know who really notices that. If you notice that and you actually figure out and try to see how many of each sex that you have for professors, for me, I have what? I have four classes, so I have three females and one male. It's kind of interesting, but I don't know if anyone else does that because I think that's kind of funny how I sit there and I'm like, oh, so I have one male and three females. I do that every semester. It's a thing that I just do. It's a woman that teaches this class, of course, and um, she's pretty chill. I actually like her class. I never had her before, but she's very interesting in how she teaches, which I think I'll enjoy and I'll like this class for. So yeah, I have an introductory of sociology class this year. So the next class I have this year is Invertebrates Zoology and I can tell you a little bit about this because it's kind of like one of the classes that go along with my biology major. The class is pretty much just studying uh, invertebrates which are sea creatures and right now it's kind of easy peasy but um, when you get down the line it's going to be kind of hard. So yeah. I had two books for this class. The other class only had one book. That's why I started off with it and it only had one. 
and this one is a Amazon rental because you want to see this big old sticker right here. This book is called Biology of the Invertebrates and um, I got it from Amazon rental so I'm pretty sure I got this book for under 30 bucks as well. But yeah, like I said, it's about invertebrates which are sea creatures and just learning about them. So that's pretty much what the class is about. Um, the professor, I already know this professor, he's pretty cool and I already like the class because he's a chill professor and he's very comical. He's easy to talk to and of course like all my professors this year are easy to talk to. And um, I'm just very excited for this class. I've been liking it for the past two weeks. So this is pretty much the first book that I had to have for this class. The next book is this book and this is a lab manual and it's an invertebrate zoology a laboratory manual. And so this book I got it from eBay. And this book at my campus, y'all, is like 200 and something dollars. I looked at those people like they were dead crazy. And I was like, nope, I'm trying, definitely trying to find that book somewhere else. And luckily, I got this book from eBay for like $12. And it's the same book for the class. It has no pages missing, no pages written on. It's just, it's very unbelievable. I was just shocked to get it. So. I was very glad to actually be able to just look around and know where to look because I was not fixing to pay $200 for this book. Just saying. So yeah, this is the invertebrate zoology lab manual for that invertebrate zoology class. As we're moving on up, the books for the classes moved on up, like how many books I needed for each class. This class is um, a class like based for my college and it's called INT, which is, I'm not sure what that stands for. I think it is a certain path. It's like either great books or INT. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I have for my class. And so I have it this year and it's INT class and it's for building the community. That's what the whole entire course is based on. But in general, it's a writing class. And so we pretty much write like every single day in this class. I'm gonna do a lot of preparation for this class. So this class pretty much has my heart for the semester because I'm writing constantly, which is something that I'm kind of eh about. But the first book I had to get was this student writing notebook, which is pretty much like a lab notebook. And you just, I've already had to use it because she uses it all the time. But it's like a pretty much a book that has a, um, a second sheet behind it and like you write on it and it like copies into the other page and you rip the other page out and hand it to her so it's just pretty much like a little writing journal that you pretty much use I had to buy this book from my bookstore which was kind of unfortunate but it wasn't that expensive it was probably like less than 30 bucks so I was okay with buying it so yeah I got the student writing notebook and another book that I needed for this class I'll go ahead and go with the other one that's in my but I'm not really going to show you the name of this book because this book has my college name in it. But it's like a reader book for the class and it's like the book that stands for the, um, the book that actually goes with the course. So it's building communities within my college. So yeah, I got this book and I really don't remember how much this book was. I think it was about the same price as the book that I just pulled up. So less than 30 bucks, hopefully. I don't know because I just was like, grab it and go, I need it. So yeah, I got this book that has a very interesting picture right here. I wonder if this picture has a meaning. I'm sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera, I'm looking up because it's supposed to be getting bad weather. I don't have a window, so yeah, I'm just constantly looking outside. And the next book I needed for this class, which I did not get at my bookstore, I got it on Amazon and actually bought this book. But it is the They Say, I Say book. and I already have a copy of this book. This one I think is the third edition. I have the second edition at home. When another edition of the book comes out, they want to get that one instead of the other one. And I don't know if it has the same stuff as the one I have at home does. I highly doubt it because they're constantly updating and writing. They're constantly finding new ways to write things. So yeah, and this book is the They Say, I Say. And I think this book was like less than 20 bucks. So I told you I had four classes, right? And we're pretty much on the last class. Yeah, so the last class I have is organic chemistry. I learned it quicker than I did last year. And I'm actually understanding it a little bit better because the teacher is going slower. So I think that's one thing that I like about this class. But because this class needed so many books, like legit, it needed a lot of things. So I like had to run around and get stuff everywhere. Another thing that I'm not going to show you guys because I don't have it and I just have the other stuff there. I don't really think it's necessary for me to show you. 
but I need the lock and I needed some goggles so I have those along with the books and stuff that I need to have but the main book for the course is this gigantic book right here and this is the international edition of it but it is organic chemistry that's pretty much what it's called and um, I got the international edition so I did get it from eBay but the book is pretty much the exact same as the book that's normally here in my um college bookstore I just went online and I got it because I didn't find it necessary to pay as much as other people pay for this book and it's the same thing and I'm not really sure how much I paid for this book because I bought it last year and I withdrew from the course so I'm not really sure how much I paid for this one the next book that I got the student solution manual and this one I rented from I think valorabooks.com so I don't really remember how much I rented it for and it was probably under 30 bucks it has the solutions to all the problems in that book that I just showed you so yeah I have this so the next book that I needed for the class was um, making the connections this is the third edition and I could not find this book online and when I did it was like at Amazon it was more than it was at the school so I went and I bit down and I broke down and I bought it from my school so yeah I'm not sure how much it was. I'm pretty sure it was like maybe 30 something because this book is expensive and it's like, I think it's a brand new edition. So it came out this year. That's probably why it's so expensive. Yep, it came out this year. So that's why it's so expensive. And yeah, so I had to get this book and it's very pretty. I like it. I'm, I love chemistry, but in general, the labs scare me and just the whole entire like, molecules and stuff like that just they're kind of intimidating but yeah i needed this book and it's called making the connections the next book that i needed for this class was this lab notebook and this book of course looks old and used because i've had it for my whole entire college career i've had it ever since i was a freshman so it's pretty much been used as you can see i've used all those pages right there and i'm hoping that i can get through at least this semester of labs because I think there's like a hundred pages in here yep and I've already gotten to like 55 so hopefully I'll be able to get the rest of the, the use out of this book and be able to not like need to buy another one soon I don't know but yeah I have this book and the last thing I needed for this class which is like makes a lot of noise was this modeling set and this is something that was optional because she didn't think it was necessary but for me since I knew I didn't really succeed in the class like I wanted to last year I bent down and I broke down and bought one of these so this thing has really been helping me so far because it's able to actually see the molecule rather than just imagine it in my brain which is not something that I can do and just sit there and like do so I went and bought these one of these and this has been helping me a lot so far so I'm very very glad that I bought it. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much it and I hope you learned a little bit about all the classes that I'm taking. But yeah, so I think that is pretty much it and thanks for watching and I will see you guys in another one. Bye!